this video, we will perform a plasmid DNA transfection experiment using lipofectamine LTX and PLUS reagent. As always, use good cell culture practices and wear your personal protective equipment. Be sure to clean your cell culture hood and work surface by spraying and wiping them down with 70% ethanol. The day prior to your transfection, seed your cells so that they will be 70% to 90% confluent at the time of your experiment. For this transfection experiment, you will need lipofectamine LTX and PLUS reagent, optimum reduced serum medium, plasmid DNA at 1 microgram per microliter. We will be using a green fluorescent protein plasmid to serve as a positive control for transfection. 1.5 milliliter microcentrifuge tubes in a rack, a P200 and P10 pipette and appropriate tips, a marker, and a timer, and a 24 well plate with 70% to 90% confluent cells. We will be following the 24 well plate format of the lipofectamine LTX and PLUS reagent protocol. Prepare four tubes each with 50 microliters of optimum medium and label them one to four. Add two microliters of lipofectamine LTX reagent to tube one. 3 microliters to tube 2, 4 microliters to tube 3, and 5 microliters to tube 4. Mix each tube well by vortexing or flicking the tube. Prepare a tube with 250 microliters of optimum medium and add 5 micrograms of plasmid DNA. Since our DNA concentration is at 1 microgram per microliter, we are adding 5 microliters. Next, Add 5 microliters of PLUS reagent and mix well. Add 50 microliters of the diluted DNA to each of the lipofectamine LTX dilutions in tubes 1 to 4. Incubate the complex for 5 minutes at room temperature. After the 5 minute incubation, Remove your 24 well plate containing your cells from the incubator and bring it to the workspace in the hood. Add 50 microliters of the DNA reagent complex from tubes 1 to 4 to wells 1 to 4 of the 24 well plate respectively. You should have enough volume to run duplicates on the same plate if desired. Place your 24 well plate back into the incubator and grow cells for 1 to 3 days at 37 degrees Celsius. After incubating your cells, assess the transfection efficiency in each well by viewing GFP fluorescence. Examine each well using a Floyd cell imaging station or microscope to determine which concentration of reagent provided the highest transfection efficiency. In this experiment, dilution 3 provided the highest transfection efficiency.